What up, YouTube? It's been a while. I'm at work right now. And uh, it's been a while. I just can't get around to making videos as much because I got kids all over my house and they're loud and it's crazy all the time and I'm always busy. But there's a few things I want to talk about. The, 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 uh, first of all, thank goodness for, for YouTube finally adding something where you can add videos from your phone because this would not be possible had it not been for that. But aside from that, let's talk about where we are. It's been a long time since we've talked. What's happening right now is absolutely nuts. The whole world is high on fear, high on coronavirus fear. And we got serious problems, underbellies of serious problems coming at us. We got millions of people unemployed, millions. We've got thousands of people that are probably going to die from this coronavirus. And a lot of thousands of people that were going to die anyway from the flu. We got a lot of deaths, man. And you know what? It's time to suck it up and let these people die. And I'm not fucking... I'm not being heartless either. I'm just telling you the fucking facts. If you got a weak immune system, you're not, you're not there. Then you're going to die. You didn't take care of yourself. You know, you're going to die. If, if someone's old, okay, they're going to die. It's like, I heard the average death is 82 years old. Okay, let them die. That's a full life. Did you know not even 100 years ago, the average life expectancy was like 30, 40? I mean, this, I mean, what's the goal here on a national level? Everyone should make it to 90 or 100? I mean, at what point do you just say, you know, we care about the future. We care about our, you know, this is really an old people's disease. And look, it is affecting people with diabetes and, and diabetic problems. And there's kids out here that were born with diabetes, right? Whose fault is that? It's sad. Whose fault is that? Who's paying for the mistakes? We have a real problem with people not not having a religion of intelligence not putting uh, uh, intelligence at the forefront of their lives if you eat like shit you will feel like shit and your body will hate you for it it will work harder to keep you alive right that's what that's what it's an accumulation of bad decisions over time that's all it is and if you pass that to your kids that's your fault, right? No one gets that shit two generations of eating only fruits, right? I mean, it's besides the point. But the, the thing here is personal responsibility, religion of intelligence. And there is no sense here. You've got people dying. Uh, or you got, you got restaurants that are shut down. But right next to him, there's an In-N-Out, and the fucking lines are through the roof to get into this drive through But the restaurant can't operate. The bigs are allowed to work, but the small timers can't. You got these governors that have no power. They're on power trips right now. You got peace police that are expected to enforce laws that have nothing to do with what they're supposed to be doing. They're not they're not there to police people not wearing masks. And the, and the 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 data on all this is re ridiculous. If you check out all this shit, the masks clearly don't support. They don't help you. They say right on the box, they're not supposed they don't help you. But you have the whole left side of the media coming down on anybody who says we shouldn't wear masks. They go freak out and go crazy because you don't wear masks. Masks don't protect nothing. They don't protect nothing. The reason they're so heavily used over in Asia and China is because they have pollution. 
what people actually do die. Thankfully, here in the United States, we don't have rampant pollution to where we're losing 800,000 people a year. They do. So you have people take it upon themselves to wear masks. But look what we're doing. We're wearing them everywhere and we're acting like Nazi Germany when someone doesn't have it. Oh, you don't have your Star of David. You don't have your mask. And we are putting people through this, through this, uh, this, this pattern of thinking. We are policing each other in negative ways. The big issue that we have here is that the left has the whole media, the, the whole news, the whole direction of the mainstream of the country. And what does the other side have? It has YouTube. It has document researchers. It has patriots. Where is their foundation and platform that has a concise and equilibrium of information on, uh, on their side? There isn't. You've got so much disarray on that other side that it's so easy for the left to collapse on the other side because they're not organized. And it doesn't matter how right you are, if you're not organized and if you don't have a concise and clear objective here for the masses, the same way the left does, who's going to win out? And it's, it's clearly the left who's doing all this nonsense. And look, like I said before, we've got millions of unemployed versus thousands who might die. Economic suicide, right? The big picture here is we shouldn't be shutting down. Businesses shouldn't be going out. It's going to take decades to recover from this. If we recover the right way, if we're able to come back to our senses. Because what this is headed towards is socialism. This is headed towards uh, people relying on the government for things. The only reason we're able to rely on the government for things now is because of the success of the past. The success of the past entrepreneurship, capitalist values and capitalist ideals and capitalists in people that we're able to bring this country up, lift it up, and sell products and export products to the rest of the world and create a quality of life that is was not seen anywhere else in the world. And now government, which steals from those people, has grown to a size of more than 50%. So we're the, the workers, the businessmen, are are basically supporting 50% of a system that doesn't help them at all creates regulations for them gets them into trouble gets them into lawsuits they are supporting these people and these people want to take more and more and then you've got these new stimulus checks which really really sad like it almost brings tears to my fucking it, it 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 fucking makes me sad because this means I mean just think of the debt six hundred per person. Think of everyone you know in your city. Think of it, those signs, those population signs when you drive by. It says population sixty eight thousand in this city. Okay, and there's cities everywhere. Each one of those people, we're, we're looking at 600 bucks a person. That That is going to drive the debt out of this fucking world. And that kind of, that kind of inflation, which was hiding. We, 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 we bailed out banks and they kept asset prices high. And kept baby boomers rich in house value. While millennials can't own, own a home. It's still propped up by that same printed out money. But now the money's getting given out to people. What that means is people are going to spend it again. More money's going to be 
passed around in the economy made from nothing. Inflation is going to go through the roof. Everyday items are going to get more expensive. Things are going to get harder to come by. What's worse is that countries that import to us are going to notice they're not making sales. They're not selling as much. And it's it's going to it's going to come to their path where they say why should we sell to these guys? It's just not as profitable anymore. And so a lot of goods will disappear from American shelves. A lot of businesses will lose manufacturers. What's 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 really really sad about that is there goes your quality of life, people. We do not know how good we have it. Listen, I'm I'm throwing out the, the lime green socks for this. Look. Oh. Yeah, I don't I like fucking bright socks. But that's a side point. The fucking we don't know how good we have it, man. We just don't. People do not understand. that you can go to the store and literally get anything you want. It's there. It wasn't made here, is what people don't focus on or understand or care about. It wasn't made here. It was made somewhere else and shipped overseas. And that that stuff is just going to disappear. Your quality of life goes with it. And if we don't turn it around, if we don't find a way to say, hey... We need to do better. We need to start making this stuff. Because it will it will cease to exist in this country. If we don't get back on the path of making shit. And start supporting each other. And start creating businesses. And the other thing is too. These baby boomers have to let go of the gas. They got to give us the keys to the car. They got to stop fucking around. They are literally stealing all the wealth from this country. Stealing it and they're going to ball out and fucking die and hand us the bill. And no one, no one seems to care about that. Everybody says, you know, like everybody loves their parents, right? Everybody, everyone, you know, it's, it's their parents, the millennials parents that are causing this. No one ever blames their parents. No one ever blames them. They're the ones at fault. They contributed to this. They didn't fight against this. They didn't vote against this. And now we're down this slippery slope. And it's up to us millennials to get our shit together. It's up to us to understand who got us here. And what do we need to what do we need to realize to fix this? What values are going to get us out of this? Because I could tell you listening to your parents ain't going to get you nowhere. They got to participate in all these bubbles and they got to drive this country into the ground and they're just going to die. Even this whole crisis is aimed towards protecting them. Because they're afraid of dying. We're not at risk. Not like they're at risk. They're at risk. And they're driving, they're taking the whole country down with them. This is fucking crazy. And we need to, we need to have a concise and and, uh, and and universal approach on our side to understanding these issues. Anyway, that's all I'm going to get into for now. I'm on my lunch break, and that's it needed to be said because there's too much fucking craziness right now.